Seventy is uh, seven decades. Can you please tell us the whole story of your life in seven minutes? Seventy years in seven minutes? Let's try. I was born on a Sunday, on the 15th of July, 1951, to be precise. Don't ask me what the weather was like. <laughs> God didn't tell me that. But I do know that I was born into a polygamous family of 52 children and eight wives. Child number eight. We lived in one main building to the best of my knowledge, as I was growing up those early years in Idoluo Street. I schooled in England for four years, together with my sister in a boarding school. Life is short, but here we are. And I was born into a family of uh, traders and um, business people. I remember that every holiday, once we were back from school, from boarding school, I would uh, go to my mom's shop and I learned a lot, a lot of things that have helped me, that have brought me to the point I'm at now. I learned about textiles, I learned about marketing, I learned about uh, trading generally, I learned so many tricks in the books about business. I didn't know that God was preparing me for the fashion industry later on in life. I went back to England and I studied fashion design. Came back, having attended intensive courses in millinery and fashion design. And, you know, I was attending two schools at the same time. I, I was uh, attending a, an apprenticeship for the millinery course. I came back, I set up my, my business, and within three weeks of setting up that business, I had been invited to uh, take part in a fashion competition, and I won the competition. And that brought me straight into the limelight of the fashion industry in Nigeria, and women from different parts of um, the country were making their clothes with me. In between all of that, I found myself as a player in the oil industry. Well, I thank God I wear many hats. As a wife, a mother, a grandmother, a public speaker, an author, a businesswoman, I'm a minister of God. <laughs> and so many other things that I do, I juggle my time in between all of them. And of course, I have uh, assistance from uh, staff. Uh, you have to put round pegs in round holes. Otherwise, uh, you, you yourself will go round the bend if you try to do everything on your own. That's not possible. I would not say life has been completely fair to me. Growing up in a polygamous home as a little girl, hmm, challenges all the way. Teenager, education, from one country to the other, getting married, being married, having children, challenges from one step to the other all the time. 
business. Wow. Where do I start? Challenges all the time. You know, life gives everyone lemons. I've had my fair share. But guess what? Hmm. I made lemonade. I lost um, my brother who was in his late 50s. A lawyer, very jovial, and was close to God. All I got was a, a phone call from his wife. He was watching TV. And then suddenly, he couldn't breathe properly anymore. He died on his way to the hospital. Till this day, I still cry. I still remember a spot in Idumata. Odo mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody calls you my mommy. <laughs> oh, I see lawyers throwing their tie this way. <laughs> that way. That was where I learned about Olowo Shiri. And what does that mean? The Olowo Shiri is a part of the cow leg that has no bone. <laughs> life to the fullest, I'll tell you that. Most especially dancing. I can dance for hours on end. When I eventually had the oil exploration license in my hand, ah, Mujo Mujunyu, I danced all night. I love playing lawn tennis and table tennis, although I don't do those anymore. I wish I still had time for it. Um, I love dancing, but I hate exercising, though we all need it. It's not that I don't do it at all, but I just hate it. God has been extremely kind. He's been very generous. I gave my life to Christ when I was 40. Gosh, looking back now, that was actually 30 years ago. You know, when God calls you, you have to obey him in every area of your life. God directs me and leads me in so many different ways and at different points in time. And as a result of his leading, I no longer wear jewelry. I don't know what to expect. I'll have to wait on God. He'll have to direct me. But one thing I do know for sure is that I've just started because I feel brand new. You know, God said in Genesis chapter 6, verse 3, that we shall live to 120 years. And he said that whatever we ask, believing, that we will receive. It's my desire. I've made it known to him. And I believe that he'll make it happen. So, 
It's God's promise to mankind. I will live in good health to 120 years in Jesus' name. Amen. Now you see, it's impossible to tell the whole story in seven minutes. Okay, in three, two... I'm not going to take it, take it again. No problem. No problem. One. What's rolling? Action. They're going to cut that. What do you want to hear? That's the first thing you call it. She buy she read New York buy your own. What are you saying that we are doing all of that again? Me and she. Yeah, let's park, let's park, let's park, let's park. Let's park.